Welcome back to the Stat Wars, the League Spaceship. And it's the fix you've all been waiting for. It's myself against Kieran Carlin. Thank you, it's You love. may remember him from 90 plus one facts. Oh, what is that? Oh, you know what's better than that? Yeah. My personal channel, go, you know, Ooh. go look at that. Plug already. <laughs> But yeah, no, buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I nearly beat Zach, should have beat Zach, but should then some, some moron writing the questions, putting two Champions League ones, which obviously didn't go down well, and I just lost it from there, so. But. Now it's just time to bounce back. Yeah, which should be perfectly easy, because how many points are you on? I'm on, I think, seven or nine. I think I'm on nine points. Hmm, okay. Let's go to the questions. It's Stat Wars time, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host today because obviously Kieran is playing and his opponent, Michael, is the usual stand-in when Kieran is usually playing. So I've had to do it, mainly because I've just shot my Stat Wars and I'm the only one that was allowed to. Yeah, capiche? Cool. First question goes to you, Kieran. It comes from Maxwell K. And it is, who missed the deciding penalty in the Champions League final of 2008? Why? Ooh. I asked you earlier if there's any Champions League f questions in this and you've just given me one from the beginning. Why would you do that? The thing is, Genuine the Champions League annoyed. is a big source of trivia in modern football. This but is I the problem. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it any easier, I do know this. Is it the one where John Terry cries? It, well, it was that one. But... John Terry? No. Shock. And now, and now, why am I going to get that? Why? I'm genuinely not. Why have you asked me that? What's the point? It's just sadistic, isn't it, really? It's just stupid. <laughs> a cornerstone of the new Stat Wars format is you moaning about the Champions League. Yeah, that has to make it onto every episode. Just let me win one. Just want to win one. Zidruva Nosworthy, I think. I think that's your name. If not, it's on screen right now. And the question you've submitted to Michael is, who was PSG's top goal scorer before Zlatan Ibrahimovic joined the club? So I broke the record. You get it. Ooh, before the all-time top goal scorer. That's so difficult, man. The only player that's sticking out in my mind is Pauletta because I know he was there for a little bit and he was Portugal's top scorer until Ronaldo. Which other like notable strikers have played for PSG. Ronaldinho was there once. He was there once. See, that could have been an answer to that a could question have been an you could have asked to me. Thing is, PSG did win the league in the 90s, so it might be someone from that era, but I'm not very hot on that. I'm just going to say Pauletta because that's the only pre kind of, yeah, 2009 10 striker I can remember who played for PSG. Pauletta. Correct. Yes! Oh, wow. Wowzers. I didn't expect that to be right, but wow, fair play. He was actually a bit of a baller, wasn't he, Pauletta? But I didn't really, yeah. didn't really experience that. Kieran, this one goes to you, and you're a goalkeeper, so you need a defence in front of you. So this one makes sense. From Ewan Richardson, who was the top scoring defender in the Premier League last season? Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. Hold it. Run that back. Wait a minute. Go right. There, freeze that. Full screen. Okay, freeze that. Tighten up on that way. Vector in on that guy by the back of you. Zoom in right here on the spot. With the right equipment, the image could be enlarged and sharpened. Enhanced. 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 Freeze and enhance. Oh, Mendy banged a few, but it can't have been the most. Chelsea centre backs. Who are they? No, they don't score. Arsenal are just. Sh I can't think of anyone in particular. I feel like full backs don't actually score that many goals. I feel like. Ooh, mm, Marcus Alonso scores a lot, amongst other things. He does. That he does, or has done. I don't think it is Marcus Alonso, but I'll say Marcus Alonso. Correct. Oh, did <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, oh. You love saying <laughs> did it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. So three times in the last one. I wonder if anyone's right. actually done that. Well, actually shout out to Actually it. eaten a human penile. And pooped it out. Probably, yeah. yeah thinking yeah. about it, yeah, probably. 
but it probably wouldn't have come out in the same form. No, it's a bit shit, isn't it? Nasty. Not like sweet corn. Hello. This one comes from Dependra Dungle. Where are these names coming from, man? This is ridiculous. Uh, who is the only team to have not lost away to Man City under Guardiola in the Premier League? Um, okay. Uh, all right, so current Premier League team who haven't lost to City at home under Guardiola. Le le lost at Etihad. The Etihad, yeah. Okay, let's go through all the Premier League teams. Okay, United have lost to the Etihad. Liverpool have lost to the Etihad. Chelsea have lost to the Etihad. Have Arsenal lost at the Etihad? Probably, but I don't know. It's difficult. Oh, Ooh, I know exactly who it is. It must be Wolves, because they're currently in the Premier League. They only played them once at the Etihad and they drew one all. They didn't. But they, they drew them, though. They didn't lose. Yeah, but it wasn't at the Etihad. Was it not at the Etihad? No. Are you sure? Yep. Is it, are you sure it wasn't yep. at the Etihad? 100% sure. Really? Was it yep. at Molyneux? Yep. Really? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it was at Molyneux, fair play. Oh, it wasn't right. Oh, no. What was it, George? <laughs> Can I have a guess? Yeah. Was it Everton? Yeah. Yep. Oh, fair. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have guessed Everton, actually. Right. Yeah, anyway. Next question. Not entirely out of it. Yeah, interesting. Incredible. You, you could go into the lead with this, Kieran. Probably won't, but let's see. Kieran, my flatmate, my house friend, my best friend. Probably. This question comes from Dennis Irvin. Irvin. Erdem. Who was the last top goal scorer in a single season for Spurs before Harry Kane? Before Harry Kane. Ooh, before Harold Kane. What the f do they have up front? Interesting. It's when they bought all those <laughs> when they sold Gareth Bale. Mm. Oh, is it good? It's going to be like some absolute moron in between Gareth Bale and Harry Kane, but. I can't think. Are you going to say Gareth Bale? Oh, I just feel like it's too obvious, isn't it? I'm going to have to say Gareth... Gareth Bale. Who was, Who was it? it? Emmanuel Adebayor. Adebayor! Oh, we were still paying him as well. You were. Oh, I've He's been your I've been duped yeah. by our own player. Hmm. Ah, okay. Emmanuel, man. Come on, hoping for a that. draw in this round. Please do not get this. I'm coming. Yeah. Mikey, if you get this, you win the first round. And this one comes from Jack the Jobber fan. Again, the names, man. Name the three defenders to have won the Ballon d'Or. All three defenders who have won the Ballon d'Or. Now that is a f Hopefully, because I don't know. Okay. Virgil van Dijk. I know Cannavaro won it. I'm pretty sure mm. Lothar Mateus won it. But is Mateus... Technically a defender or is he a midfielder? That's gonna f me over. Whoa! I don't know, I feel the goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all three defenders, that's such a f Cannavaro's definitely won. No defender has won it since Cannavaro. So that count, counts out the last 12 years. I don't know. I'm going to assume that Beckenbauer won it at some stage. Please don't get this. It's the only round I've ever won. I'm not even gonna win it. Lothar Mateus. Is, is, is screaming out to me, but also that Sammer guy, I always feel like he comes up in. Was he a defender? Yes. Was he? Take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Cannavaro, Beckenbauer and Matthias. F*** it. I'm probably wrong. Who was it? Was it oh! Sammer? It was Sammer. Oh, for f sake. Oh! And Beckenbauer was in there as well. Oh, man. Oh. That yes. is just annoying. No tiebreaker. That so. is annoying. You know. Oh, for f sake. Haven't lost yet. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, I f hate hot potato. I just panic. I've got really big lights here and I just panic. <laughs> hot potato time, ladies and gentlemen. And those two losers drew the first round. So this means even more. Even more than ever before. I'm a rhyming master and I don't even cause disasters. Good God. I get paid to do this, guys. I legit get paid to do this. Jamie Wilson, though, has asked the HP, and he's put, name the Great Britain football squad that was entered into the 2012 Olympics. Oh, my God. Okay. Sturridge. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, Ryan Giggs. Yeah. 
Uh, Mika Richards. Yeah. Nice. Um, um, can he remember? Um, Mika Richards. Why was Mika Richards in there? Uh, ben Foster. No, uh, Fraser Forster. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, can't remember, man. Genuinely cannot remember. Yeah, I had three more. Who? Three oh, more. three wow. more. Who? Uh, I Craig Bellamy. Yeah. Craig Bellamy. Shit. Uh, Joe Allen. Yeah. Uh, Marvin Sordell. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin Sordell. Yes. What the former Burnley striker? Bolton, and I think went on loan at Colchester. Or was at Colchester. <laughs> wow. Oh my God! I think I've just came. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. That stressing me out. Just to put it out there, I didn't watch. Oh my Great god! Britain at the, uh, the I did. Olympics. I was the Champions League. Was <laughs> Great Britain in the Olympics. That's what you want to watch. I mean, I was watching Great Britain. I was just watching, you know, like relevant sports. I went to the uh, the Olympic Stadium. For the did Olympics. you? Yeah. Nice. Can't remember what I watched, but that was worth the trip. Well done, Kieran. On to the next one. This one comes from Hoskell Nagelsen, and he's asked a tough one. Name all the 11 Premier League teams that have a negative goal difference after just 12 games into the Premier League season. Ooh. Man United. Uh, West Ham. Yeah. Cardiff. Yeah. Huddersfield. Yeah. Uh, Burnley. Yeah. Uh, Southampton. Yeah. Newcastle. Yeah. Um, Everton. Mm. Liverpool. Well, not Liverpool. Everton, Liverpool, Chelsea. Mm. Uh, who else has left? Uh, United City, um, Fulham. Yeah. Um, Everton. No. Um, um, Watford. Um, West Ham. No. We're done. We're done, man. I'm done. I just want a hot potato. Well, congrats. That was good. That was good from you. Holy! <laughs> I was like, how many? Who was left? Who was left? I, I couldn't remember. You can't oh, remember normal Fulham, teams. Man. Fulham. Who was left? Brighton. Oh, it was Brighton. just Brighton. Palace. Oh. Palace. Wolves. Wolves have a negative goal difference. Yeah, they've won like the games they've won is like one 0 yeah, Oh true. my good god. Palace. Point. I'm guaranteed a point. Shit, yeah. The pressure's actually <laughs> I'm on so me. Okay. I wow. didn't think I cared this much, but it turns out I really, really care. Oh, I've got at least a point. Month. At least a point. Oh. Now, fair play, man. This is going to be the, well, I'm well have the best lunch well, well, well played. Here we go. Come losing ground on Pato, for f sake. Oh, I'm just, that's that. <laughs>
Little did you know that during that soccer I am game, <laughs> Phil Neville snuck up. <laughs> Back to Kieran, who almost falls over the ball before dispatching your fenners there. For two points, I've scored 29 goals in 215 games across four different clubs. Who am I? That's the most unhelpful clue ever. Yeah. Even more, less helpful than the first clue. I'd have more chance in this round if you just told me to name a footballer. Don't give me any clues, just say footballer name. Hernan Crespo. <laughs> Is it Hernan Crespo? <laughs> Crespo! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's, it's, it's gonna be bleedingly obvious when it, when it comes up as well. I just can't think, cannot bloody think. Nah, pass, pass. For one point and maybe my Favourite ever question. I'm considered a favourite of David Moyes and a certain John Babb. Oh. Oh. So Anichabee's come up and it's been an absolute anti-climax. Although maybe some of you guys at home what, will be laughing was... in your chairs at that. Ha ha ha, Victor Anichabee. <laughs> when did he play with Obi Mikel? Oh, Nigeria. oh, Nigeria. And when did he play with Anelka? West Brom. West Brom. Oh, yeah. Bloody, I forgot Anelka played for West Brom. Wow, fair play. It comes down to one question. Worth three points. Two players, only one Carlin. If he gets this right, he wins three points for the table. Comes from Harry Gosh. I have managed Shevchenko, Ibrahimovic, Deco, and Vidal. Good luck, boys. Carlo Ancelotti. Oh, Bang! Doesn't matter, does it? Bang! I've got a point. Draw on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a point, one point off the bottom. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I beat Zach. <laughs> so you've got four points. If least. I say it enough, if I speak it into existence, I'm actually top of the table. Right, that's it. We drew. Well played. I'm, I'm just, I'm yes. bewildered. Are you, are you, is it, does it feel real yet? Has it sunk in? No, I, well, I can't wait to go downstairs in a minute and I'll be like, what's happened? I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> And then it'll just, I'll, they'll be clapping, that's gonna be like. <laughs> oh, but that's Mental. the best, that's the best thing that's ever happened. <laughs> you have to say that more than one time in a day. You can't, or in, in a lifetime, really. But get if you want to be amazed every day, then yep. check out every video we put up every day on all the channels. Yes. Oh, segue galore. Mm. Um, Mundial, go, definitely go watch one to one on one. One on one with Pato, know the name of it, really. goals. Yeah, it's very good. good. He explains expected goals and it turns out all you bastards who judged it before actually quite like it and rate it. Yeah. So, there you go. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy that. Go watch Donnie Vogs as well over on FDFC. Give that some love because that came out on the weekend. And yeah, see you yeah. next time. Bye. <laughs>